Hello, this is Andy Sokolovich. Recently, Gabby, Zane, and I visited about the things we think make Clinton and Iowa a great place. There were so many things, but we'd like to share some of them with you. U Point Park on the north end of town offers a great view of the river overlooking Lake Clinton, the widest part of the Mississippi. The recently renovated Eagle Point Lodge is booked every weekend for many events, weddings, family reunions, as well as conferences during the week for business events. My family visits every summer and they can't get enough of the river. The views, uh, the opportunity to go out on a boat and enjoy the Mississippi River, going through the lock and dam system. During the summer months, Riverview Drive is a hub of activity. There's an RV park, a marina, the local minor league baseball team, as well as historical statues and a band shell that hosts music venues every Friday night. This is such a great place to raise kids. We love the neighborhoods, parks, the new cafes that are popping up all over, the festivals, and especially the food trucks. My family really enjoys the Sawmill Museum on the north end of town and going to Lumber King's games. The city of Clinton has been working to create a community that is pedestrian friendly and walkable. Recently, a trails advisory committee was created to target and identify new trail construction and oversee the creation and implementation of a bicycle master plan. The goal of the committee is to increase trail connections to points of interest by building a network of trails across town. The backbone of the trails network is our Discovery Trail. The Discovery Trail is a nine mile trail that runs from Eagle Point Park south to Comanche, the vast majority of which runs along the banks of the Mississippi. The Lumber Kings parking lot will be joined with the Clinton swimming pool through a project that will replace the asphalt with a permeable paver surface to provide stormwater retention. I miss the river like crazy, like crazy I miss that river because I would always walk by the river and if I had like a problem or if I was stressed or just to like get some peace of mind, I'd always go and walk on that river trail like all religiously, even in college I'd come back and do it. The sunrise on riverfront is almost second to none. I get up regularly to go see that in the morning and I ride bikes a lot so cycling up and down the trail along the river I spend a lot of my time. What I've noticed that I think are really positive things is that I've, there's a lot more diversity in town and I think that's a strength. I am excited for Clinton to get on board with harnessing that strength. The riverfront is also a great location to take in art and culture in town. There's a music venue that hosts concerts every Friday night throughout the summer, as well as public art. There's a modern sculpture that was funded during the last Iowa Great Places round. There's also a historic World War I Centennial Memorial and the Luber's Fountain that was originally a WPA project. Luber Fountain will have some renovations. The failing bricks will be replaced with stamped concrete. There'll be some new benches and parks, as well as a safer trail to get down to the fountain and do the art. I think if you're passionate and if you're excited, Clinton is a way that you can make a difference. Like there's a lot of opportunities to get involved in and make changes.